I'm sorry, do I have something on my teeth? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm currently having a decent night, I suppose, because it's 10 p.m. and I'm just now filming. But I am pretty excited because a little while back I got to create my own custom lipstick. Like I got to choose the colors and the finish and the name and all sorts of fun stuff. So I figured tonight we would finally bust into the envelope and try out this custom lipstick that I got to create through FindingFerdinand.com. I did receive the opportunity to create this lipstick free of charge with Finding Ferdinand Ferdinand on Octoly, but this is definitely not a sponsored video. Alright, so really quickly before we start, I'm going to show you guys how I created my very own custom lipstick, and then we will reveal the creation that I have come up with. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to head over to the website, which is findingferdinand.com, and then you're going to go to the custom lipstick section. Now these custom lipsticks are $30, which is pretty expensive. I don't purchase lipsticks that are $30 on the regular, um, so I'm really hoping that the ability to be able to like mix the colors you want to together and choose your own formula and stuff will be worth it. When you get onto the website and go to the custom lipstick section, you're gonna see like little dots here, just all sorts of like colorful little dots, and from these little dots you're going to be able to select four colors that you would like to be like mushed into your lipstick. There are a good amount of colors here, however, I tend to see that they lean more towards like the berries and pinks and reds, a little bit of neutral, but there aren't any really like crazy colors. You don't see any like blues or greens or yellows. And you know, there might be somebody out there that might want to have like a yellow and green and purple and orange lipstick all mushed together and that would probably just come out like duty brown, but that's their option. So I feel like they should probably add some more color choices just so it can be like fully custom. But this is what it looks like and when you find the colors you enjoy you just tap on the little color and an X will come up saying that that is the color you have selected. And once you've selected all of your colors your mix will show up here and then you can go down to these little like slidey bar things and slide these over there we go, and slide these over to the different percentages that you would like, which will change the color of your mix. And then after that you get to choose your finish, so you can choose between creamy, matte, and sheer, and then finally you get to name your very own lipstick. This entire process is very simple, but it took me like five hours, I swear. I'm a very indecisive person, so when someone's like, okay, out of all these things you can pick four of them, I'm like, what? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Once I finally got past that and I got my color like put together, I got to select my name which took me an additional like, I don't know, 47 hours or something. So what I ended up coming up with is Wove, Twoo Wove. And if you guys are familiar with The Princess Bride, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, then you'll probably know why Love True Love is spelled and said Wove, Twoo Wove. Marriage. Wow. Ooh, wow. I thought about different quotes from that movie specifically for some reason. I was thinking about going with INCONCEIVABLE! But I ended up going with Wolf True Wolf because I thought it went with the shade and I thought it was pretty cute and fun to say. Alright, so that was a super long introduction. I definitely will put down in the description when the actual like unbagging of the lipstick begins. So let's go ahead and jump into that. My lipstick came in a very shiny silver envelope and uh, let's go ahead and open her up. And thankfully on the order form it tells me exactly what I selected because I definitely could not remember and according to this like my anxiety over choosing things like couldn't take it anymore and uh yeah apparently I gave up on the slidey bars because all of my colors are like at a hundred percent instead of you know different percentages so I selected flaming fuchsia bing cherry sinful and coffee bean all at 100 percent power I also selected a matte finish because I do enjoy my matte lipsticks so I'm gonna go ahead and take off what I currently have on my lips which is just this lip comfort oil by Claire Paris and I actually really like it. The little doe foot in there is super soft and it feels fantastic on your lips but it is definitely super sticky and oily so I don't want that to interfere with our little test here. So I have myself a makeup wipe for the first time ever. All right now that that is removed let's go ahead and finally reveal the lipstick. It comes in this little pouch here and this looks super like medical almost to me. It looks like the packaging that the Kim Kardashian West beauty line came in, which everyone kind of freaked out about. Alright guys, here is the big moment. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a very standard looking black tube, but I think it actually has like a press 
Oh, it has a press opening, so that's a little different and fun. Right off the bat, I will say that it feels a little bit lightweight, and it's a little bit of a thinner plastic. I wish it had more of like a hefty feel to it. And then on the bottom, we do have the shade name, but I can tell that it's been handwritten on like a little sticker. All right, you guys, and here it is, my personally selected color. I wanted to do something for fall that was very like berry and deep and warm. It smells like lipstick like just a very standard lipstick and this is about how much you're gonna get in the tube so it's not like a huge bullet of lipstick but it seems like a decent amount. All right, you guys, let's give this a little hand swatch before I try it on my lips and we'll see how it goes. All right, right off the bat swatching it, I'm not a huge fan of the formulation. I mean, this is on my hand versus my lips, so maybe things might change. But let me go ahead and show you guys up close. All right, so this is me passing over a few times. If you guys can see there, the lipstick itself has kind of like bunched up and balled up and it didn't really go on like super evenly pigmented or smooth so that's just a little bit worrying but let's go ahead and try it on the lips and see if anything changes All right, you guys, here is the lipstick completely applied to my lips, and I have to say, unfortunately, that I'm not the biggest fan, at least of this formulation. I think it's a really pretty color. It came out a little bit more pink than I was expecting, but I feel like with deep lipsticks like this, they always have a tendency to go pink, and I don't know why. But if you guys could see, like, while I was applying it, I definitely had it, like, sticking to drier patches on my lips, which, like I said before I started this video, I was wearing a lip oil to try to make them a little bit more smooth before I applied lipstick plus it did that same kind of like balling up thing as I was applying it also on the tip of the lipstick it started to ball up as well I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that but right there on the tip you can see how it's kind of like peeking over the edge it's because the lipstick started to ball up and it made it really difficult to get a straight line I feel like there's no way I could get like a really clean crisp line around my lips because it did ball up so much and it is such a dry 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 formula it almost felt like I was rubbing on like powder mixed into a lipstick, which I mean, I definitely anticipated it to be a dry formula because it is a matte, but it is like super dry compared to other mattes that I've tried. Now, I don't know, the other formulas could be absolutely fantastic. If you guys have tried out this company before and you've tried a different formula than I have, I would love to hear about your experience with it. I think the pros for this lipstick are, I think it's a fantastic concept. I love the idea of being able to like create something that's your own and name it and that kind of stuff. I think it'd be really, really cool for like personalized gifts. Like you could make something for your friend that's like a color they would love, plus like maybe a name that's like an inside joke or something they really enjoy. So I think it'd be really cool as a gift or something for yourself. However, I would suggest maybe a couple of changes. I'm not really sure how long Fighting Ferdinand has been like in operation or anything. So I'm sure things will be like growing and changing as they grow and change. But for me personally, I would like packaging that was a little bit more like substantial feeling. Uh, when I pay a lot of money for a lipstick, which is like never, <laughs> I definitely want something that's a little bit more weighty and heavy. Take for instance, this Estee Lauder Pure Envy Color Matte Lipstick. Um, this is an expensive lipstick as well. I think it is in the $30 range, but it is like nice packaging. It feels weighty and substantial in your hand. There's a magnetic closure. And uh, this is actually a matte as well. So let me go ahead and swatch this next to this one. But if we look at the formulation between these two, we have the Pure Color Envy here at the top and then the Finding Ferdinand at the bottom. We can definitely see that the Pure Color Envy is more evenly pigmented and smoother and we don't get those little like balling up pieces like we do with the Finding Ferdinand. And the final thing that I wish was just a little bit different would be the sticker that comes on the bottom with the name. Uh, I wish it looked more professionally done or maybe even have something where it like prints on the packaging itself. That way it feels like a truly like custom lipstick. I ordered a custom shampoo a little while back and you could also name that but they actually like printed the name like on the bottle itself and I thought that was super cool so they might want to try implementing something like that if they would like to. Anyway, that is my review for the Finding Ferdinand lipstick. I hope it was informative for you guys. I feel super professional in this video for no reason whatsoever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the absolute world to me. You don't even know. Plus, we are having monthly giveaways coming back very, very soon, so keep an eye out for those. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you have an absolutely wonderful evening or morning or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!